What's up, Chroma Clubbers and Doodle Clubbers? Embrace the power of the doodle. Well, today is Portal Week, so let's get started. I'm going to cover some of the cool projects submitted. Um, this first one was submitted by Boris, and let's see what it says. It's the Lava Portal. You enter a maze, and when you get to the end, you will find a dog, preferably big, a.k.a. Great Dane. And he'll take you back to the beginning. He'll leave with you. If the portal's obstructed, you receive lava gel. The dog is now yours. So, so I like that idea. So you would pretty much get a dog sticker or one of those dog bases or something that's kind of 3D. Um, and I think what it'll require is lava gel and any block that doesn't burn. So basically, this is how the world will on oh, this. This is how the portal will look. So I think it's cool. Um, I like the idea of going to portals to actually like defeat it and get stickers. But remember, one thing I noticed with some of the portals is that people think they all have to be mini games when in fact, some of them can just be spaces where we do projects, right? We can have the story portal where people do story projects or the video portal where people do video projects. Let me know what you think of that. Let me know if it should be projects or something else entirely. Um, so the garden portal, and by the way, this is by the godly girl plus Wonder Woman and Captain America fangirl. Oh yeah, by the way, back to Boris. I'm supposed to approve this, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> and okay, now the godly girl. So let's see what this is. It's the garden portal. When you first get in, you're in a garden that's got weeds growing and the flowers dying. Water barely runs, so you have to have the water marker in order to do this portal so you can help the plants grow. Some can be salvaged, salvaged, but some completely dead, so you must doodle new ones, and you can create new names for them. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll find a fairy to help you find seeds to make the plants grow quicker. Okay, um, you need the water marker and the care marker, or did we ever make up a name for it? Um, and you also need three green gel. Um, that's to kind of build the portal or get into it, and the picture is kind of what the world will look like. But I didn't know how to get the full background without making the whole picture. Okay, so... Is there, a, like, do you complete the portal? That's my question. Is there, like, do you just go through it, or do you have to complete the portal, or do you just, um, let me know what you think of that. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. I think it's an inter interesting idea. Um, Rainbow Star 12. Um, okay, and this one is the cat portal, and when I'm done eating my cat food, <laughs> rainbow color pencil is what you need to get into it. Okay, I understand that, but, um, okay, it's a cat portal, but... I don't get the need more details. Clarify what you mean by cat food. Um, do you have to find cat food in there? Or do you find cats and you have to feed them cat food? Uh, or cat food? Um, so let me know. Um, this is by Rainbow Star 12. She asked me to give every uh, a shout out to her, which I did. And you can also check out her profile on Doodle Club or Chroma Club. Okay, um, Hawk Heart. By the way, I think this is the player that actually came up with the icon for Portal Week or the badge for Portal Week. So thanks. Um, it's the creative portal. Okay, what I'm thinking is the world you enter is a place where you have unlimited gel and a plot of land to build on. So sort of like creative mode in Minecraft. Um, so I'm thinking one piece of every gel would be needed to build the portal and this is how it'll look. And then you would build stuff and maybe you could have a camera, maybe you could have camera effects or the photo marker or something. So I like that idea. Um, but how do we actually use the creative portal to actually build stories or, or should there be um, creative portals where you kind of build an open area and then you take pictures and then you use that in some separate story portal? Let me know what you think of that. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. I like it. Um, Doodle Ninja is ready for anything. Okay, um, thank you for being a fan of the YouTube channel. Um, so this is the profile portal. It shows what everyone else is doing, but you really don't know where you are. Um, black and blue. So I really do like the idea of having a portal where maybe we can list all the jobs, you know, like all the jobs in the whole world, because we're not going to have like a jobs tab, so maybe a jobs portal. Um, and then the profile portal where it's like all the online players at the moment. So I really like that idea. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And that kind of expands what types of portals we can think about or consider is that we can have portals for a lot of things. Oh, guess what? Um, wow, this is by Doodle Club Helper. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, by the way, I'm biased because that's me. I'm just going to show you kind of what I had in mind, which is a street portal. And so you would create this little, it would look like a street portal. When you enter it, it would show you a localized map of your little like street area, your kind of your geographic area. And you would see little bosses or little 
mini portal areas that you could tap into to then tap and find gel in the real world. So then like this star is like a mini portal area. You would tap it and then you would actually, it would open up your camera and then you would see portal in the real, or you would see gel in the real world that you could then tap um, and pick up. And then if you tap this boss, you would then actually kind of battle the boss maybe in a, in a real world and you would have to defeat it. And it would either give you part of a marker or a gel. Um, and to create this portal, what you would do is you would mix, you would create any kind of doodle, you'd place it in the doodle world, and then you would mix three blue portal gel with two green portal gel and one magic marker gel to then create this little portal effect that then when you enter will show you this street street view. So let me know what you think of this. Um, oh, and by the way, in the street map, you would use it, you would go into the street portal to pick up special tube gel that you can then use to kind of doodle 3D tube um, tube type stuff. So that's that's the idea for that. I think it's cool. I think it's pretty clear. Let me know if you have any feedback on, ahead, on it. I'm going to go ahead and approve it. And I'm going to definitely cover some more in a future Ask CCH. But for now, I'm going to move on to the questions. So if you want me to cover you, <laughs> let me know. Post on my wall. Otherwise, I'll just choose random ones. Um, here's a preview of Infinity Art, um, which I think I said I would cover. So maybe I'll cover it in the next episode. On to the questions. Now on to Ask CCH. Let's get started. Gymnast for Heart asks, hey DCH, how do people follow themselves? I really don't know. I thought we fixed the glitch. If you find out what it is, let me know. Post on my wall. Broken Lover asks, how long do you plan to keep DC? Well, look, come on, let's, let's be honest. We have to improve Doodle Club. I had a good idea. I'm lucky. I got lucky. And, you know, that's from hard work. But even as you get lucky, you have to keep improving yourself. You have to keep improving things. And with Doodle Club, I haven't really improved stuff. So we have 14 days. We have to do our absolute best for these 14 days and make the Doodle world work. So at least other players will want to check it out. Because it is way more fun, I feel. Anyways, now that I'm, I improved the Doodle world, to, to make stuff inside the doodle world than kind of like outside in this. There's some fun to this, but we have to change. So we got 14 days. If you want to help out, please help. We have to do our best. Dipper, Bill asks, how is the virtual world going? Are there any improvements? Uh, the virtual world is going well. I'm, I've got some ideas um, that I'm improving on. And I think someone suggested that if someone doodled a butterfly, you would be able to fly around. That's what I'm trying to figure out is how we can auto magically do that. If you have any suggestions on how to do that, let me know. Um, I'm also trying to figure out ways to, you know how you would doodle a bow tie for a boss, right? I'm trying to figure out ways where, what should it be like? What else can you doodle for a boss? Should it be a shirt, uh, a hat? Should it be an earring? Let me know, because I think it would be really cool to have these mini quests where you're not attacking and defeating people, but actually doodling and helping them. I'd love to hear what you think of this. Um, so, so that's where it's going right now. Um, and thanks for everyone that is that you know that help. And even with the portal week submissions and the base week submissions, so I'm super excited. But I have to bring things together, kind of. And and we've got 14 days. Let's make the most of it. That's all I can say. Um, okay. Glow question mark no asks: Will there be ways to die lose things in the doodle world will other players show up in the same world as us and can we collaborate easily yeah that's the whole goal is that we have to make projects more fun more expressive projects more types of projects that's really the goal and um so i think i think i like your idea of being able to die and lose things in the doodle world so maybe if a boss defeats you or if an animal defeats you you either lose some gel or you lose a sticker or some of the things in your inventory so let me know what you think of that and and yeah, I thanks for the suggestion. Blue Flower asks, what is your favorite animal, color, book, and song? Uh, my favorite animal would be Tiger at the moment, but honestly, some of the animals that players have suggested for the Doodle World bases, I think those will be more awesome. I'm really into like some of the original character ideas and animal ideas, so that's what I'm really leaning forward is those types of animals that will be 3D and kind of um, have their own characteristics. As for color, right now it's blue. And book, it really depends on whether it's fiction or nonfiction. So for fantasy type books, I think Fountainhead is pretty cool. Um, I think, um, you know, I don't know. I, th I think um, for nonfiction, The Wisdom of Andrew Carnegie is really cool. Um, 
and Andrew Car- Carnegie is a kind of like a famous character who is like very rich, uh, like a long time ago, and and helps to start a lot of the libraries, or fund at least or catalyze the funding of a lot of the libraries in the United States. So that's inspiring because I've I've definitely gotten benefit from you know the library and stuff like that. And and my favorite song it really depends on the genre. One thing that I just listened to recently is um, from Alphaville. Um, which is um, Jet Set, which I thought was a cool song. And I, and then also just Wang Chung, which is Everybody Wang Chung Tonight. Um, so I've been listening to those. I think it's cool. It really depends on my mood and my show and um, what genre. Okay. Uh, the Fluffy Swirl, Maybe Insane says, So baby, pull me closer in the back seat of your rover that I know you can't afford like that tattoo on your shoulder. Pull the sheets off the corner of that mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. We ain't ever getting older. I totally messed up probably the lyric, <laughs> the tune of it. But I do appreciate these little cut cut throughs of songs. So um, I think um, as people post songs later on and ask CCH, I will try to sing them to the best of my ability. Okay, Starlight Rainbows asks, do any of you like lollipops? If so, dip it in water. It tastes so good with water. I don't think I've actually tried it with water. I will consider that. I think Starbucks has some cake lollipops. And maybe after the vegan thing, um, for one day I will try lollipops. I think lollipops might be not, not be vegan. So I may not be able to try them out, at least the the cake ones, but maybe I will try out a generic lollipop and put water on it. Or orange juice, we'll see. Panda Bear 661 asks, something interesting, possible pets, a personal story. Did you have an imaginary characters, uh, any imaginary characters as a kid? What leads you to create, what led you to create this app? Uh, What's your favorite book, food, outfit, why? Um, Why do we only need to have imaginary characters as kids? Why can't we have imaginary characters as adults? Sometimes they can be your only true friend, you know? I mean, especially when you're doing something innovative and different. So, um, so yeah, uh, so that's, that's my little rant on imaginary characters. As for possible pets, um, I don't have any pets at the moment, but I consider Doodle Club kind of my pet. You have to take care of it. You have to feed it. Um, and also I can't wait to actually doodle my own pets or get some pets in the doodle world and take care of them, honestly. And that l- lends itself to the next question. Oh, at, oh, before I move on to the next question, my favorite outfit would be um, the game developer outfit that I kind of showed some players last year. I think I need to get back into wearing those. Um, it's super fun and exciting. And um, thanks for the reminder of that. And going back to pets, this is Psychotic Reality's question, which is, what is your favorite color? Which is blue. I kind of answered that uh, a little earlier. And if you could mix two different animals to create a new animal, what animals would you choose? You know, honestly, the way I see it is that we need to put it in the doodle world where the pets of the doodle world, they can breed together and then you create new types of pets. So that's what I think would be super awesome. And I think that's what we need to have. And so that lends itself to what my favorite, you know, what what possible pets I would want is really these cool pets that players doodle in the world. And then they breed and they create these other crazy, interesting pets. I'm going to try to figure out how we can do that. Well, that's it for now. Take care. Thanks for all of the questions. Um, You know, remember Portal Week. And if you have any other suggestions for Portal Week, you can submit more than one portal. So uh, feel free to do that. Take care and embrace the power of the doodle.